Hello. Well, I'm not going to talk about buttercups today, although you might be forgiven for thinking and that's why I'm here. In fact, I'm going to show you an orchid which, had you asked me ten years ago to show you this plant in Northumberland, which is where I'm sitting, I would have laughed at you and said, no, 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 we're none here. But in 2017, local botanist Lydia Coleman's discovered these plants growing near a housing estate in Gosforth, and they are southern marsh orchids, subtly different from the northern marsh variety. Northern marsh orchids are a really deep purple colour, and the labella, much the bottom flap of the flower, has dots and dashes on it, mostly dashes, little, little curves and loops. Now, the southern marsh orchid looks very similar, but instead of the loops, on the whole it has little spots and they're confined to the centre of the labellum. Uh, the labellum is a bit wider. For those of you with a mathematical bent, uh, 9.5 millimetres is, the, is the, the join, so ones that are, the labellum is more than 9.5 millimetres wide, usually you're going to think there's some southern marsh orchid possibility there. If it's less than 9.5 millimetres, you're going to think northern marsh. And there are other pointers too. The leaves on northern marsh orchids are very slightly hooded. If you rub them between your fingers, you can the tips they just have a slight hoodedness about them, whereas in southern marsh orchids they're absolutely flat. And once you get your eye in, and it does take a lot of practice, uh, if you look in the centre of the flowers, where the spur joins the, the centre of the flower, the ratio of that central hole to the labellum is much bigger in northern marsh orchid than it is in the, the southern marsh. So there are some differences, but they are quite subtle. Um, why is it here? Well, I suppose it's getting warmer. It's on the edge of a housing estate. Maybe it, was, it came in with earth or seed from the south, or maybe it's just moving north as a result of climate change. But whatever it is, we're really pleased to have it because 10 kilometres north of here you can go and see northern marsh orchids, and then on the outskirts of Newcastle you can see the southern variety. Um, it doesn't get much better than that, really, and have both within close uh, proximity. And of course, what happens when orchids grow close to each other? They do what orchids do best, and they hybridise. And you can't see this, but just behind my cameraman is the cross between the northern marsh and the southern marsh. What fun, eh? Aren't orchids great? Especially this one, the southern marsh orchid. <laughs>